beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm paige this is ceo alexandria and guys today we are finally diving in finally i feel like this has taken so so long we're talking about the physician's formula organic wear collection i picked up i think all of the key pieces there were like eight to ten things i have you know everything from the mascara the eyes the lips a little bit of cream bronzer blush all the good stuff including the foundation and that's what we're going to be diving into today now real quick before we dive into the makeup we need to talk about real quick hello shout out Teresa is dead merch is in the building we have a garbage person shirt guys i will leave her channel link down below she recently crested and is just climbing like crazy way past 13,000 subscribers she is hilarious makeup reviews all the good stuff you should definitely check her out again i will leave it linked down below but i just want you guys to know she's got her own merch and i'm wearing it and it's real cute and uh yeah congratulations girl i love it so much it's so good it's comfy and i love being a proud little garbage person now congratulations out of the way girl it's time to dive into primer from our makeup collection here and this is the mineral primer with cactus flower and on the website it says that this is an organic weightless mineral based primer that moisturizes and preps the skin for flawless makeup application and it retails for $15.99 and the packaging is super cute like I love the color combo it's all like soft muted colors very beautiful and the packaging also feels really nice and hefty let's go ahead here and take a little little moment hello hello what is happening hello okay you know what let's just open it up oh girl she is a thick mama what is this she is a thick chunky mama i did not expect that it's very much so like a thick kind of feeling moisturizer smells oh smells like clay interesting okay well nonetheless y'all it's like too thick to come up the tube so i'm not really sure i'm just gonna try to dig a little bit out and like we'll just put some right here okay 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 and we're just gonna take this and we're gonna smear it on our face i took way too much so we're gonna smear it on both sides oh yeah definitely play-doh now that i'm now that i'm touching it play-doh all the way not clay forget clay guys i gotta be honest though that does go on really nicely okay like i'm that okay like it's not nearly as unpleasant as i kind of thought it would be no offense no tea no shade but that smell was really kind of messing with me but it goes on and it like absorbs in really quickly and it doesn't leave a weird film on your skin Huh, interesting. Now, moving into foundation here, we have their Silk Foundation Elixir, also with jojoba oil. Ooh. Okay, and this only has 3.6 out of 5 stars with 26 reviews on their website. I am a little nervous. Um, $15.99 is the price. It says that this is an ultra-nourishing, ultra-fluid, weightless, organic foundation elixir that improves the appearance of skin tone and texture while delivering a sheer to buildable coverage. Let's go ahead and just open it up. I grabbed this in the shade 02 Fair to Light, and I guess it's not like like the worst shade let's go ahead and i'm just gonna take some on my hands and apply this like i've been applying anything skin tinty lately and that's just by rubbing it all over my face i've been all about this method because it's really been working for me i have to say this on top of that primer feels so good like it feels really nice and silky on the skin Ooh, okay all right also made a mess that's fine let's just wipe it off how about we get a makeup wipe that's not dry idea so i'm looking at this up close first of all i'm really struggling to see where they're getting this buildable coverage thing because i'm telling you i just applied that and like literally i see no difference not one iota of difference do i see and um i don't know how i feel about that i mean i do know how i feel i don't like it i'm gonna try to like add a little bit maybe what i'll do here is i'm gonna like apply it to my face and then i'm just gonna take my little morphe brush here i'm gonna try to like i know you know you're not really gonna like build build but maybe if I could even build it to like a light coverage, I mean, that would be preferable even to what I'm getting right now, which is no coverage. And you know what? That's actually kind of working. Okay. I mean, granted, it's definitely building up the amount of product, so it might end up looking a little bit thicker than I would like, but I don't hate it. At least I'm able to get a little bit of coverage this way, which is good. I did forget to wet a beauty sponge, though, so I'm just going to take a ColourPop sponge. And I'm just going to dampen that up a little bit with some Morphe spray. That way I've got a little something that I can press and make everything look even with. All right, so I went ahead and I moved in the camera so you guys can really see what we're working with. Um, definitely not a lot in the way of coverage, but I do think I was able to build it up just a freckle to that nice, like, lighter coverage so it's not quite so sheer. And I'm actually going to do this the same way that I did it in the ColourPop video, which if you missed it, I will link it up here, my review of their entire Pretty Fresh collection. And I'm going to grab some of my Clarins Instant Concealer. This is in the shade 01. And again, I'm doing this because I did it in the color pop video and i think it would be a really similar effect to um what's happening in this video 
because I just want to have a little bit more coverage than what I'm getting right now and I have to have something for my under eye anyways because otherwise girl it's not a good look. I'm not sitting here building anything up. I'm just applying a very, very tiny amount. Like I just added a tiny dot and split it between the two under eyes. And then I'm also gonna grab a little bit more on my finger here and I'm just gonna lightly tap it over some of my acne. All right, so I like where we're at as far as coverage. Obviously, I left it very, very light. And before I go in and powder anything, we're gonna start diving into some cream products that were also released with this collection, starting with this little guy right here. This is their Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil. And this right here, I believe, is the shade Toffee, if I don't miss my guess. I think they also have another shade in Mocha. So there are two shades to this collection, and it retails for $11.99. Ooh, and it only has three out of five stars. My God, I'm not reading the reviews or nothing, but man, it's not sound real good from where I'm sitting. Oy. And I'm going to keep you guys zoomed out for this portion just so that way you can see things a little bit better. I feel like when it comes to highlights, blush, bronzer, anything like that, it's always best to be zoomed out just because I think it makes it so you can really see the full picture better. That is really, really creamy. It definitely feels more so on the sheer side. And it says that this is an ultra blendable, buildable bronzer loaded with hydrating antioxidants to provide a healthy all over warmth to your skin. That definitely makes a lot of sense because this definitely seems like it's on the more sheer side, which honestly is exactly what I would expect from this collection because I wouldn't think that you'd have like a super rich in pigment bronzer and blush and like all of these other things and then have a super light color coverage foundation so I'm not mad at it and I think it works really well as far as the foundation like it's blending in really nicely I wonder though if it has low reviews because of the pigmentation I wonder if that's why people don't like it again I'm not going to check right now because I don't want to skewer my own thoughts but so far I actually think it looks really nice and guys update on the foundation it's soaking in nicely it has a light amount of like tack to the skin it feels very hydrating but it's not overbearing at all like it's definitely soaking and settling okay let's go ahead and move on to the dewy blush elixir and I have this in the shade apricot glow and it looks like it's a little pump situation I have like another primer type deal. guys what is it with these pump oh wait we got a little bit oh yes we got some <laughs> That's right, we do. All right, so this retails for $13.49. It looks like there are four shades, and it says that this is a lightweight, easy-to-blend blush elixir that glides on effortlessly, enhancing cheeks with natural-looking color, leaving a long-lasting glow. Okay. I'm just going to take a, ooh, ooh, girl, we better get to blending. And I kind of figured this entire collection I would be either applying with my hands or maybe a little bit with a brush. Ooh, guys, this is beautiful. Does anybody, did anybody give this any stars? Okay, this has four out of five stars with 10 reviews. I honestly, oh my God, like that color is like, I know it looks a little intense right now. That's so beautiful. And then from there, we're going to dive into this guy. This is their Dewy Highlighter, and this retails for $11.99, comes in two shades, and actually has 4.7 out of five stars with three reviews. So that is the highest rated one we have seen. And this is the lighter of the two shades in Dew Frost. And you can see it's just a really nice light sheen. It does feel very oily or like kind of like that greasy slip to it, but it also kind of matches the overall theme of the rest of the face. And it also has jojoba oil in it, so I'm not surprised. Now let's go ahead here and take a little bit of this and just kind of tap it on our cheekbones. And then I'm going to kind of blend that in a little bit. And because we're going for a much more natural look, I feel like you can be a little bit more uh, liberal with your highlight. And I'm just taking a little bit of that concealer as well, and I'm hitting it on the eyelids. Nothing too much, just a little bit to cover up my natural redness and a little bit of staining from uh, the other day when I was filming. Now, also, like I did in the ColourPop video, I think I'm going to go in here with my Jeffree Star powder. This is really nice, lightweight, and I'm going to apply that and use it to lightly set the under eye and then very, very lightly set the T-zone and the rest of the face as well. And I'm really making sure that while I'm setting the under eye and the t-zone that I am really pressing that powder in because I don't want it to leave any residue on my skin and I'm also trying to preserve as much of that nice natural glow as possible but y'all it's just the reality of my life okay I'm not one of those nice like naturally stunning people that doesn't have under eye bags like come on you girls got under eye bags for days and we just got to take care of them we just got to set them down we got to put them to bed we got to let them live their life it's just the way it's got to be and then I am just very lightly with the tiniest amount of powder lightly setting the rest of my face and I'm talking like literally I barely tapped in and I'm spreading it everywhere 
because not only do I not want to cover up the base products that I put down, but I also don't really want to overly set a makeup that's not really intended to be done like that. Now, real quick, just to kind of settle down all of that powder, I'm going to grab my Morphe spray right here, and I'm going to give it a once over. Now, I did see on their website that there was a spray released with this collection, and I don't know why in the world I didn't pick it up, but for some reason I didn't grab it, and I'm really sorry about that, because normally I would be all about that new spray life. But uh, yeah, we're just going to take, settle everything down with my Morphe. Also, for some reason, my eye is watering like crazy again. Girl, what is happening? And I do feel like I have a nice amount of shine left that you can still see coming through the powder, but I'm going to grab just with my finger here, take a little bit of that highlight, and I'm just going to lightly kind of tap it on top, just because I don't really want to disturb what I just did, but I also don't want to lose the uh that glow either because i think that that's like the essence of the entire look so next up here we're diving into their brow gel and this is twelve dollars and 49 cents it has 3.7 out of 5 stars. Man, another low hitter here. And it says that this is an organic brow gel with flexible hold that conditions, sculpts, and sets brows in place for all day wear. Man, 3.7 out of 5. Man, okay. And I grabbed this in the shade Soft Brown. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a swatch right there. Not a bad color, actually, for me. Um, I can definitely tell that it's going to be more on the sheer side. And it's it says also with jojoba oil. And it definitely like blends out to be absolutely nothing. So hopefully when it applies to the brow, it actually stays there. And I'm just applying a little bit of this first before I go in with any other brow product, just so I can kind of get a feel for what I'm looking at. And actually, you know what? That's not too bad. It's giving me a little bit of color. I like how small the little brush tip is. And if I had to guess, people don't like this one for the same reason. They probably didn't like the Florence by Mills. And that would be the consistency. It kind of flings all over the place a little bit. I have a couple droplets here, here, and back here. Um, just because the formula itself is a very loose kind of watery formula. It's not quite as loose as the Florence by Mills one, but it is on the looser side. All right, so there are my brows with just the brow gel. You can tell, obviously, like I said, I don't have a ton of natural brow, but it did give me a little bit of color, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Now, just because this is the only one I have close to me, I'm gonna go in with this little guy from ABH for my brows. This is their brow definer, and I'm only gonna grab a tiny, tiny bit of it here. This is in medium brown, and I'm just mainly going to use it to shape out my brow and give them a little bit more of an arch. All right, so I ended up applying a little bit more brow than I was originally going to, but as I was applying the color and kind of scratching it back off, I actually just like how it looks. So I'm leaving it right here. Don't know that I'm the biggest fan of this. This might be my least favorite thing so far, but let's go ahead and move on to the last item, which I believe is mascara right here. It retails for $10.49, and this is their Lash Boosting Mascara with Soybean. I will say, though, look at how cute this little packaging is. Oh my god, that's so freaking cute. It's not exactly the most practical for like holding purposes. Oh my god, I thought the mascara was green. I just had a heart attack. I was like, why is this green? But seriously, like this packaging is adorable, just not the most ergonomic for holding on to. Uh, but let me go ahead here. Time to curl up my lashes. This is a very thin mascara. Like, holy cow. I feel like that first coat barely coated the lashes. Like it's a really thin, watery kind of formula. And don't get me wrong, I'm getting a nice even coat and everything, and like it's making them look lengthened, but they're, I don't know, just taking forever. Like you're not gonna get any sort of build off of this whatsoever. Oh yeah, then I just got it all over my lid. Oh, excellent, excellent. Good job, Paige. Oh man. Uh, friggin', 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 friggin'. All right, guys, I am back. I did go ahead while I was off of camera. I finished up the mascara. I applied some lipstick. We're going to talk about the lipstick in a second, but we need to discuss this mascara. Oh my God, no, goodbye. Where's my crap bit? It... No, that mascara. Oh, it is violently upsetting. First of all, it is so thin and watery like I was talking to you guys about. I literally looked down to do my lower lash line like this. When I looked up, I had a full-on friggin' Morse code all up on my upper lid, you guys. Oh my god. It was everywhere. It was the entire lash line up here. And then as I was trying to remove that, my lower lash line transferred and I ended up getting it all down here. 
oh that mascara is just not for me no thank you and moving on to the lips we will talk about this little guy right here which I also went ahead and swatched on my hand and this is their nourishing lipstick and it has 4.1 out of 5 stars with 8 reviews retails for $9.49 and it looks like it is available in 6 shades of which I have buttercup which I think is a beautiful nice like little light medium tone nude and it says that this is basically an ultra hydrating just like the rest of everything else we've tried formula it's smooth it gives you a nice little pop of pout and I have to say out of everything that I tried this one probably has the most surprising pigment like I didn't expect something in the lip realm to be this rich in pigment when everything else was a lot more subtle and a lot more demure but it is so so nice and creamy on the lips it doesn't feel like chunky it has a nice kind of velvet texture to it so it's not too like glossy shiny but it's not matte it's not satin it's definitely like somewhere in between as far as the texture goes but guys this is where we're at as far as the face is concerned overall I think it went very positive I like the products that I picked out the products that I tried today you guys can let me know what you think down below um, as far as that goes but what I want to do is actually run off of camera I have a ton of stuff I have to go get done I'm actually way behind schedule so I want to run off I want to give this a little bit of a wear test now it's not gonna be like a 12 hour long wear test or anything like that but I do think I'll be able to wear it long enough to kind of get a feel for how this is settling onto my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and do some time off of camera and I'll stop back on for a very very brief update here in a little bit all right hello hello beautiful people um welcome to Paige at the end of the day my sinuses are acting all kind of crazy but I wanted to check in with you guys with this foundation and uh, all the other organic stuff from Physicians Formula we're going to talk about it real quick and I would be in my setup on my normal camera uh but two things number one I'm having a sinus attack and so turning all those lights on <laughs> girl will never stop sneezing number one number two my memory card is currently in use um in my laptop as I'm editing a video and I just realized I don't have any way to actually record anything in there so I apologize that was a uh, poor planning on my part so you're just gonna have to bear with me for this one but here's my thoughts I'm gonna bring you guys up close I don't think that it looks bad necessarily I think that it looks pretty good for a tinted moisturizer but I was sitting here and trying to make a couple comparisons between this one and the ColourPop one which I believe I've already linked in the cards if not it'll obviously be in there but um, I was trying to make some visual comparisons because when it came to the color pop one I was absolutely in love I thought it looked so so good by the end of the day but I think the main difference between the color pop one and this one is the level of sink that it goes into the skin like the color pop one just settled into my skin perfectly and so seamlessly and this one doesn't do that for some reason it almost like has a weird like natural meets matte effect and it stays near the surface of my skin and I don't know what it is about it but it almost takes away like that effortless kind of glowy feel that the color pop one had and even the Florence by Mills that one does it as well I've looked at it in several different lights and that's the main issue is just the settling into the skin which then causes like the emphasizing of texture and all of that so for me I think that's like the main issue I keep having if I'm comparing it the mascara I'm still not on board with I swear to you like if I touch my eyes right now it is still look at that it is still wet this mascara does not dry it is look, I'm, does that lie that does not lie it is bizarre to me. This mascara makes absolutely no sense. It is ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, the mascara I just can't get behind. Also, I just realized we're sitting at what could be the worst angle ever, so that's cute. But you guys, I think that that's everything. I'm gonna take my little sinusy butt to bed. Let me know down below, what do you think? Were you curious about this? Were you one of the many people that wanted this collection reviewed on my channel? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And also, if you've tried any of this, I really wanna hear from you, because I want to know if you had any of the same experiences I did. I'm very, very curious about that and what your skin type is. Leave that down below as well. Don't forget, very important. And of course, of course, if you haven't done so yet, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked in the description. And don't forget, you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. You guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, my nose. My nose. Why are my sinuses like this? Uh, uh. I'm going to throw that mascara into the garbage bin, into the garbage bin. I hate it so much, but I like my lipstick so it can go with me today. Hey, 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 hey.